Um, just I want to start out first and foremost. Just uh, my thoughts are, are with all of the, you know, all the people that have been affected by Hurricane Helene. Um, I know there's been a lot of people in Tennessee and Carolina, um, a lot of folks that are dealing with some pretty hard times that make it a little bit, this feel a little bit less significant sometimes. So my thoughts are to them and all the people going through difficult challenges um, with the hurricane. So sad to see. Um, other than that, I'll just say, you know, Will, Will hurt his shoulder on that scramble on third down, um, tried to come back. It was bothering him. Uh, ended up doing what he had to do to try to get back in the game. And ultimately, I knew what kind of game it was going to be with the bye week next week. Didn't want to expose him to any further risk. Uh, he tried everything he could to go, but it, it was bothering him pretty significantly on his shoulder. So made a decision to hold him out. Same thing with Jeff. Um, Jeff's elbow was bothering him with the bye week backed up. It, it made the most sense to rest him for the week and give him one more week after that to be ready to roll uh, for the long term as opposed to trying to force it back um, for this particular game. So the, the rest kind of factored into both of those decisions at this point. Um, and hopefully that answers those questions. Um, really big shout out to Nick Folk going five for five on field goals today. Uh, hitting from 53, 52, 51, 47, and 29. Uh, that's a that's a good day's work for the old man, uh, making some big plays there for us. We needed all the points we could get. Um, that was really good. I thought our defense did a great job. I think they held them to, what, 70-something yards in the first half. Um, you know, they're playing with a backup quarterback, and that's what you're supposed to do to teams that are, that are playing like that. And our guys stepped up, got our first turnover. Um, and I'll let you guys uh, ask what you want to ask from there. Uh, I, I don't know if I can put it into words for you. Um, it's It feels great. Um, I, most importantly, because our guys deserve it. Um, the, these guys work hard. They practice hard. They do everything right. Um, they deserve to win. I felt like, you know, we, we practice like we're a 3-0 team. I said it last at the end of the week. That the way our guys practice and focus is, is fantastic. And to be short on these couple games to start was disappointing. Um, so for them, they deserve it. It feels great. It's good to see some smiles, some energy. Um, and I thought we played a really good game tonight. That a hundred percent. Yeah, Will's healthy. He's our quarterback. It was not uh, a decision based on anything other than his health and protecting him, particularly with the bye week and the shoulder that didn't feel great. I didn't want to put him back out there, um, and I knew I was going to run the ball quite a bit. So um, that was really what it factored. But he he's our starter when he's healthy, and we're ready to roll with him. Uh, yeah, I mean we'll do all the all the work on the precautionary stuff. Um, I don't think it's going to be. Uh, anything too serious other than just your normal AC style injury, but um, we'll see. I've, I've, I've been wrong before, so we'll wait till the MRI and all that gets done. But as of right now, I don't think it's a long term issue for us. No, that was going to be the plan coming in. I knew the style of game we needed to play to win this game. Um, I knew that they were going to have some trouble offensively, uh, and I knew that, that we were going to be able to run the ball effectively on them. Um, and, it's, and to lean on that and make it a physical game and, and make sure that we possess the ball as, as long as possible um, was part of the initial plan in this game to, to go that way. It wouldn't have looked much different, um, but we were we definitely felt the run was going to give us a, the best chance to win against this this defense. Yeah, 100%. I mean, everything about Mason is professional. He didn't bat an eye when he walked in the game. Um, our guys didn't bat an eye. He did exactly what uh, you want a guy like that to do in that situation is come in and operate. Uh, he was pretty clean operation-wise. We got the ball, got the plays called. Um, all those things were really good. He, he was prepared and ready to go, and he's a pro. Um, and that's why we brought him in is for a situation like this, and he did a nice job. Uh, that one's going to go somewhere special for me. I know you only get your first first win uh, once, and um, I'll probably put that put that up in my house somewhere, um, maybe my office at some point, so I can remember what it was like to win my first game on Monday Night Football. She did, yeah. It was a really, really cool moment for, for me and for her, I think, to be able to present that. No, no. I mean, we were calling, I was calling the game all the way up to the end there for the most part, and I was trying to make sure that, that, that onside kick scared the hell out of me. Uh, I had forgotten that that's the new rule in the onside kick, so I was ripping cue uh, for not catching the ball, but the ball has to still land in the appropriate zone. Uh, but I was... I wasn't thinking about anything other than that, really, for about three minutes after that play. Uh, I don't know if he knew that or not. So um, I'm not going to give him the benefit of the doubt, but he, he might have. I, I told him, I yelled at him afterwards in the locker room again just to make sure he knew I wasn't happy about it. And uh, he goes, Coach, the ball's got to land inside the 40. I said, I don't care. I don't care. Catch the ball, God damn it. Uh, Yeah, we, we knew coming in the plan was we had to do everything we could to get a lead. 
Uh, we wanted to play with the lead and keep the lead. Uh, put them in a situation that they didn't want to be in. You know, they, they have a, a backup quarterback plan. It's only been here for a couple weeks. Um, that's a really tough challenge for any team. And we just felt like if we could if we could hold the ball and get a lead and make them play outside of what they really want to do, um, that was the goal. And and I thought we did a nice job of that. No. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I thought about it, but uh, the intent was the intent was really to just try to run the clock out because we couldn't take a knee in that situation. Um, the clock wouldn't have run out at that point, and so we just said, you know what, we're just gonna run. We're gonna run our goal line plays. You know, I call a play from the four that usually doesn't score from the four. To be honest, it was really uh, a way of taking a knee in a, in a sense. And, and Tony just ended up breaking outside and scoring. So I was not trying to actively score necessarily, uh, but we had to run plays. And as long as they allow us to run plays, we'll we'll keep trying. Yeah, fantastic execution by both Mason and Tyler. And then the whole offense in that spot. I mean, that's a play that we work on in that exact situation. 16 seconds left. We're in a down, down clock spot where as soon as we catch it, we go down. That's a play that is designed uh, for that kind of chunk, about a 25 yard chunk and um, hustling up. And 16 seconds is tight. That's about as tight as we would ever do that um, and be able to get a ball clocked on a, on a chunk gain. Um, so just outstanding situational execution by, by those guys and, and getting the ball clocked with one second with a chance to kick a field goal was, uh, was really brilliant. And um, it was really fun to see those guys execute in that spot. We talk about it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think if you ask him, I mean, he's he didn't see the guy drop. You know, they brought a sim, a sim pressure from the front side and that backside and dropped. Um, it was just a pretty simple stick route on the backside. We we're trying to get the ball to hop and uh, I just he just didn't see him, you know, and, and sometimes that happens and those guys drop from the line of scrimmage. They're hard to pick up. Um, and it was a really nice play by the kid. I thought I didn't think he picked it at first. But um, yeah, I mean, I, you, he knew it when he came off because I just didn't see him. And, and those things happen sometimes. That's not uh, he's not alone in that. Those those guys are hard to pick up occasionally. And obviously would like to not throw an interception, but um, it happened. How much of a relief was it to finally get a big win? Oh, man. <laughs> I don't, yeah, relief is the word. Um, you know, we've just been so we've been so knocked behind in the turnover margins right now. And it's been uh, contributed to really for sure two of our losses. Um, and so to, to be on the plus end of that and be able to take care of the football and then take it away a few times. And then on top of that, those fourth down stops uh, to me are like turnovers as well. And so, I mean, fantastic effort by our defense. And, and hopefully that's the start of, of a whole lot more turnovers um, because that's how you win in this league. You got to take the ball away and you got to protect it. And uh, that was really a really nice job by the defense. How much nicer could it have been if the refs let it play through like they're supposed to do? I, uh, I cannot comment on the officiating. Um, but yeah, there was that, you know, that crew's, that crew's, you know, we knew coming in the game, they, they threw quite a few flags. Um, it's just kind of what their MO was, and, and we were aware of it. So I was expecting to have uh, have some flags get thrown, and, and that's just what it is. Got such a couple of Foles on the intro. Just how good did it feel to see him knocking all those down? Some of them just big slumps, and the fact you see him do that clock and how the clock. You know? Yeah, not a surprise. I mean, he's still a very capable NFL kicker. He can still kick from 50 plus. Um, but to see him do that three times. <laughs> Uh, in a game where, where every one of those points was at a premium, especially early on, um, was, was awesome. And I think that, you know, he just keeps proving that, you know, the age doesn't really matter for him. And he, he's, he's an accurate kicker. And, he, and to knock five of five was what we needed to win this game. Um, and, and he did a great job. It's a, a really, really nice performance by him on a national stage. So it's great to see. Mm-hmm. Um, they did their job to to a very high degree today. Uh, we knew the style of offense that they that they liked. They were going to attack our C gap and um, try to get the ball on the perimeter with their speed. And um, they tried and they got a couple. And but we ultimately, at the end of the day, uh, did a, a better job over the course of the game. And and really proud of those guys. They played. We knew it was going to be physical. We relied on them to set the edge. Um, all those guys that rotated in there. And I think, uh, you know, in the interior, you know that that helped too. We disrupted the interior. I think Sweat had a really nice game. Um, and then Lynch and, and Lynch and, and Anderson in there again elevated up the practice squad. Those guys played a really rugged, gritty style that really helped us contain the run game. And again, getting into a situation where they had to run it or they, they had to sort of throw a little more to try to get back into it helped us. Um, but those outside linebackers, Harold and Arden and, and Jalen, and they, they played a really, really nice game. It's huge. I mean, 
I've said it before, I think, but there's the wins is what validates our, our process, you know, and then it, there's, you have to find success somewhere. So guys continue to buy in and believe in how we want to operate. And, um, when you don't have those wins, it's, it gets harder and harder, but when you do catch a win, uh, it sort of propels you and, and there's some momentum behind it. And now, you know, you get a chance to enjoy a couple of days off and, and get ready to come back against a big divisional game, uh, against Indianapolis. And, um, there's a confidence that comes with winning. Uh, uh, there's a there's a joy that comes with winning, and and those things are all important and they all matter to us. And to, to get one before the bye was, you know, all we cared about was get on a plane, come down here, and winning. And we were, our goal was to, to win this game and not worry about anything other than that. Uh, and our guys did a great job focusing and, and making sure we got it done. Felt great. Uh, always feels great to win. Um, feels great to win to get. To get Cali his first uh, big one down on you know prime time football, but uh, it's always good to celebrate in the locker room and, and you know, for for a coach's first win, it's big time. Well, uh, is that your first time you've come in and really? What was that like? What was the I guess, conversation like right the end? And how, when you know you were staying here? I've come in relief before, uh, but I, I um, yeah, it seemed like it was a sort of a let's see if you know if Will can. Um, you know, just see monitor monitor his shoulder, and, and uh, I was told to continue to go. And so, you know, I uh, thought we ran the ball really well. I didn't do a whole lot, that's for sure. Um, Tony in the O line and, and Taji just, you know, mauled him up front, moved the ball, controlled the ball in the second half, and uh, you know, we we protected the ball, didn't turn it over. You know, there in the second half, and got out with the win. Is it just as simple as that? Not turn the ball, just chip a play, or something like that. I think. Um, you know they're playing with a with a guy. You know Snoop Huntley is a great player, but he just got there a couple weeks ago, right? So you, you know that, um, you know they're they're probably not going to be as you know they're going to score as many points as they would with Tua, and so you, it's sort of a possession game where you want to, you know, not make any mistakes and and um, you know run run the ball, control the ball, move the chains. When you say you talk about not doing a lot, like how quickly do you get into the flow of the game and realize like, uh, all right, I can. Yeah, the first. I mean, the first couple of series, I. Com, you know, completed some balls and, and uh, kind of I think I had one over the middle there. Felt like I was getting into a groove. And, and then um, we had a two-minute drill before the half. Felt good, you know, missed a couple. Uh, Tyler Boyd's still running if I hit him there in the, at the end of the first half on a third down. So that was, you know, that stunk. But, uh, you know, I, I, you know, tried to tried to uh, execute the, the plan as best I can without, you know, getting the reps during the week. Well, yeah, that's that's the way you drew it up with the, that kind of the way you drew it up on the – Late in the first half, there hitting Tyler and getting down. And getting the spot. Yeah, I mean credit. Yes, credit to uh, credit to Bill or sorry, not Bill uh, Brian, with just his incessant you know work at situational football. It's it's every week. We did a lot in the spring. That was a play that we had repped in that situation a bunch. You know, alert to get down. You know, get up there and spike it. And um, great job by Tyler. Great job by the O line getting up there and, and giving us a chance to kick a field goal for half. Are you aware of this? Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, he did. Uh, uh, somebody told me on the sideline. I wasn't sure, but I guess uh, a couple, a couple of years or so, thirty points. So, yeah, it was big time. Like I said, you know, I didn't, I didn't do, I didn't do a whole lot at all. That was, a, that was a, that was a running, running uh, monster between the two-headed monster between Taji and, and uh, Tony, and I did a great job and um, controlled the ball, man. What's the mindset also the way the defense is playing? Well, you guys didn't make mistakes. Yeah, no, you're you're right. The defense played probably its, its best complete game. I mean, you held them to 14 points and, um, you know, a couple key stops on fourth down to give us the ball back in, in plus territory. So, um, you know, happy for Denard, the performance they had. Stoney with the, with the kick, you know, the down them inside the, the, the five or the ten, whatever it was. So, it was all the way around, it was, it was good football. You've seen before where offenses are struggling to run. At one time, they're really bad at Pittsburgh, you know. Once you have a good game like that, how much can that roll into the second game better off? Yeah, I think it's a it's a you know it's a game of momentum, and I think um, you know I've been a part of you know teams that get go on eight or nine game streaks, and then um, but no no one season is is this you know same. So this is a, this is a unique group, and, and we're gonna keep working. It's a young young offense. It's a young team, and uh, I think we're gonna get healthy through the bye week and. And come back and you know, get ready for Indy. Uh, I think you're always 
talking in the second half, especially when it's a, it's a two touchdown game. Hey, listen, you know, let's protect the ball. Let's, you know, we're not going to put you in, in, in a drop back, a lot of drop back situations with, um, there's no reason to when you got a two score lead and you run the ball and you're chugging, you know, chugging the clock. So absolutely, I, I invite those kind of communications. Moving forward, I guess, a lot will depend on where we go. Yeah. Yeah. You have much of a conversation with him during the transition. With Will. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I, um, we were looking at the iPads every time we came off, good or bad, and, um, you know, I've tried to, you know, give him a tip or, you know, a suggestion or even just just hear him out when he comes off the sideline. You know, when I was the backup and. Um, so we, we had great great lines of communication. He's he's a solid dude. How important to get your points within the half and how you feel like you guys executed there one play spike it. Yeah, that was that was um it's a great it's a great play. I hadn't I haven't been around the amount of you know, the, the situational emphasis that Brian has each each and every week about, you know, two minute into half, two minute into the game, four minute, two minute, um, you know, uh coming out. So he we we hit all those all those stops and, and I think it showed tonight guys were all right, we had, we had the play and we executed and we got up there and spiked it. Not just, just a couple in terms of, not just in terms of the thirty, but just in, in terms of offensive production. You think there's a little bit of a sense of overall offensive relief, the run game, the fed, the yeah. passing game like like you guys wanted to, which yeah. helped the pass protection and all of that, all of that stuff come together as yes. I, I think so. I think um you know when you, um, the key, the key to every win is, is running the ball. Usually, if you can control the ball, take some pressure off, you know the quarterback make you tackles and not have to sit there and pass protect against you know two great edge guys and Phillips and Logba for you know 20, 30 snaps a game. It's it, it makes you know, football easier. So, proud of the offensive line. They controlled the, they controlled the trenches and, and uh, the backs ran great and we got out of here with the win. Yeah. Um, you know, just hey guys, you know, it's it. My my mindset is always one one play at a time. You know, I, you know, don't worry about me. Let's do our job collectively and let's let's move the ball and um, let's celebrate in the end zone when we get down there. So um, it's it's I'm not I'm not uh, not much of a rah rah. You know, it's I'm not going to get in there and give a dissertation. It's just kind of a few words. Let's get the let's get going. So. Falk, fall, uh, the kicker. Yeah, FCM, yeah. Absolutely. You, you see the no competitor was going to lie. Yeah. Automatic. Yeah, I mean, incredible. He, he's he's a he's a vet, savvy vet. We're locker buddies, and uh, I've just really enjoyed being able to pick his brain and, and, and I mean the amount of stories in football that guy's seen, and, the, you know, and obviously to to be as stellar and automatic as he was tonight. I mean, just it makes makes playing quarterback a heck of a lot easier.